Hello and welcome back to AR77. Umarex make some fantastic replica air guns. They have done so for years now and you can see the evolution of those guns within that sort of time frame. Uh, they make some fantastic guns so don't, don't be misled by the title. I really enjoy uh, my Umarex guns. I don't like all of the guns that Umarex make, but that's more uh, uh, about taste. That's more about me kind of either not liking that particular gun in its in its real steel formation, or that's that's me going, you know, there's a certain part of the mechanism that, that kind of puts me off, um, or something like that. Um, but they make some fantastic guns, uh, and that is without without question. Having said that, it would be easy for somebody... Uh, perhaps just new to the to the hobby or new to this sort of stuff, it would be easy for that person to go, okay, do you know what? If if I'm not getting something that is a comes under that umbrella of Umarex, then I'm getting second best. And I just wanted to make the point that just because Umarex are so prolific does not mean that there aren't fantastic air guns out there, uh, made and distributed by other people. So that's the purpose of this video. Let's look at a few guns that aren't made by Umarex uh, and I'll hopefully show you some real quality guns that might be worth your attention. So just to sort of bring us up to date in terms of the sorts of guns that you can expect from Umarex, the sort of quality, of course they make the Colt Single Action Army, uh, the Glock, you know I think all the Glocks that are out currently are, are kind of made by Umarex certainly in the in the 4.5 millimeter BB shooting or pellet shooting world. Uh, we've got this fantastic HK USP, um, really f stock full of details, uh, field strippable, blowback, all that metal slide, um, polymer lower, uh, just as the real steel. A great, great um, air gun. Really love that, and it's a very popular gun on the channel as well. I know that a lot of you like the look of the HK USP. Um, Umrex also make, as well as these, they make the Smith & Wesson uh, M&P, they make uh, the, the 92A1 by Beretta as well. They make some amazing guns, and that's not up for, for question. I'm not here to undermine the success of Umrex or anything like that. And likewise, I'm not, you know, I'm not paid to make these videos. I don't get, there's no incentive for me to big up one person over the next... I just think that variety is the spice of life. So let's have a look at a couple of guns made by other people. Um, I will just I will just say this. I'll put that back there so you've got something nice to look at while I drone on. Um, there's sometimes a uh, a mix up between who manufactures the guns and who distributes the guns. So again, I'm not an expert, and forgive me or inform me even better, uh, educate me on this. If I talk about a gun and I say, oh, this is made by such and such a person, uh, it might just be that the actual factory that makes it is a different factory and it's just distributed by that person so please feel free to tell me uh, that i'll just tell you the kind of the names on the boxes uh, and they will all be non umarex products let's 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 just say that and we'll uh, we've set the parameters there okay so let's get the hk usp off the table uh, shame as it as it is to do that and the first gun that i wanted to bring to your attention was this the Springfield Armoury XDM. Uh, you've seen this gun if you've watched. Uh, I mean, it features on plenty of my videos. Uh, never mind just the review. This is a great shooter. This is, you know, it's again similar to the uh, USP. You've got full size metal dropout magazine. It's um, field strippable, full blowback. Um, you've got metal slide here. You've got the polymer lower. All the bells and whistles work. You've got the uh, your uh, safety there on your grip and it's a really lovely gun it's it's uh, it's got good sights on it kind of white at the back you've got that um, fiber optic at the front fully functioning uh, really accurate replica of a XDM by Springfield Armory great gun not a Numerex gun I think actually this is a Air Venturi gun or air, air venture is it i don't know how you pronounce it but i think that's the case not a numerix gun but really worth taking a look at um some people have some issues with the magazines here some people don't i i really love this gun um 
and I've, if you see it on any of my videos, you'll see me singing its praises. It's a really good uh, uh, competitor to things like your Glock and your 1911 and, and the USP even. If you want something that is fully field strippable, uh, fun to shoot, and everything works, realistic size and weight and all that, the XDM by Springfield Armoury, or in this case, Air Ventry, that's worth your time, and it is a non Umrex product. Let's take that off the table. What's another nice pistol that I have here that is not made by Umrex? Uh, well, we've got SIG, if you want a big name. SIG Sauer, we've got the P226. This is a pellet pistol. Um, takes eight rounds of pellets. Uh, and this is full metal, feels great in the hand. Uh, very accurate replica. It's got a working decocker there as well. You've got the safety. This is a, a blowback pistol as well, pellet pistol. Feels very good in the hand. It's full metal, very weighty, and a really nice pistol. That's made by Sig Sauer, as far as I'm aware. Does it say on there, made in Japan, not a toy? It doesn't say by who. So I wonder if, you know, with a few of these guns, I wonder if they're made by a particular company and then just released uh, by others. I know that Sig Sauer use KWC 1911s for their range. Uh, after things like the Spartan and the uh, GSR, uh, they started to use KWC ones like the We The People and the, the Emperor Scorpion. But this, as far as I'm aware, this is a Sig product. Uh, really nice gun, really good bit of blowback on that as well, accurate um, and a nice replica. The SIG P226, another great air gun, pellet this time, and not an Umarex product. Let's put that down. And there's another one here, yeah, let's have a look at this one. This is a gun that you'll be familiar with. This is the <laughs> Taran Tactical. Uh, STI Combat Master. Um, this is a, a kind of a based on the 2011 platform, and this obviously was made famous by the John Wick movies. Uh, really nice guns. There's a few variations of these now. But once again, you got full size dropout metal magazine. Your CO2 and your BBs are housed in there. Uh, you've got a fully functioning slide. That's gonna. That's gonna. Um, Allow you to rack it, and after your last shot, that will lock back uh, in that final position. Uh, you can see right down through there, which is always a bit of a treat. Uh, really nice looking pistol. You've got this kind of two-tone finish with this kind of, uh, what would you call it, like a copper sort of barrel there. Again, everything on this gun works. The, uh, the uh, grip safety works. Uh, yes, yeah, safety, yes, yeah, slide safety. Everything that you want it to do does what it should, and you can take this gun down as well and field strip it. So once again, a fully functioning, um, full size, good weight, really accurate replica of a gun, and this is made by a company called KLI, I think it is, or Crownland Incorporated or Industries or something like that. Uh, they make some really nice looking guns. I'd like to get my hands on a, on a couple more of them. They do a kind of a, a polished, uh, like a nickel version uh, of the 1911, like a, almost a chrome version, I think. And they do uh, a 92 FS as well in the same sort of finish. And they look really nice. Uh, this gun, apart from a couple of things with the magazine, uh, if I could just show you, try and show you quickly, you just need, like a, in the UK, I use a 50 pence piece. It's got a bit gnarled up there because I tried using something else. I tried using a more narrow screwdriver, but you're better off using something a bit a bit longer. So I use uh, like a 50 pence piece in the UK um, when I'm loading my CO2 into there. So it's a bit of a faff because I've got loads of Allen keys lying around and <laughs> not much money, <laughs> hence the size of my collection. Um, but apart from little things like that, that's a really nice pistol. Really enjoy shooting it. And I really like the fact that it's, it's uh, a, an integral part of one of my favorite movie franchises. So the STI... Uh, Taran Tactical Combat Master there by Crownland. Another gun that isn't by Umarex. What else can I show you? Ah, yes. Well, I should show you something uh, along these lines. This is the Taurus PT-92. Uh, Full-size dropout metal magazine. This is 
fully functioning. Uh, that will lock back again after the last last shot. That will lock back. Um, you've got a full metal working replica here of a Taurus PT-92. As I say, feel strippable, blowback, full metal, good weight, good size. Lovely little pistol made by KWC in Taiwan. Great pistol, that PT-92. All shapes and sizes, you can get that branded as Swiss Arms. Um, I think you can get a Crossman version. You can get full auto versions in different parts of the world. Uh, not so in the UK, unfortunately. But yeah, really nice gun. Full metal, as I say, fully functioning. Full blowback. Uh, and a really nice little shooter there. Not made by Umarex, but definitely worth your time and not too expensive these about just over 100 quid maybe 120 quid will get you one of those uh, and i particularly like this version this kwc version because it's quite lo-fi if you will there's not a lot of writing on it again fantastic gun not made by umarex possibly one of my favorite guns made by umarex uh, not made by umarex sorry is this this is the cz 75 sp01 Shadow, uh, CZ, or once again, I have to do this, don't I? CZ. This is possibly one of the most beautiful pistols in my entire collection, uh, in, in my opinion. It's jet black with just a couple of details in red, like that fiber optic front sight there, your sort of safety uh, indicator there. Uh, no sort of significant white dots on the back, but you've got all this other little detail, which is like the silver barrel there, the chromed trigger. I think this is a really good looking pistol and accurate to the real steel as well. Full size metal dropout magazine. You've got a fully functioning blowback, full metal pistol, full size, decent weight, single action, double action. Uh, again, field strippable. And what a lovely pistol that is. Again, not made by Umarex. You can get the SPO1 Shadow, and I think you can get the SPO2 as well now, the updated version of this kind of CZ, CZ gun. Lovely, lovely grips on that. I should do a video about grips, about comfortable grips. I'll write that down. Um, yeah, lovely gun. Not made by Umarex. Made by ASG. And I think, I have to say, ASG are right up there with Umarex. They don't have the, the size of range but they do make some great pistols. And in particular, they make some great revolvers. They make the whole Dan Wesson series, the original ones, the six inch, four inch to two inch, um, as well as the 715s in all sizes, the two, the the four, the six. Oh, there was an eight inch version of the original Dan Wesson as well. Um, ASG also make the, the lovely Schofield revolver that I have. Um, really good, really quality, uh, makes there you know that doesn't it's not all rattly or any of that malarkey really good fully functioning and i would say beautiful air pistol i don't shoot that enough you know there's there's ones if you have a decent enough collection there's ones that you go to regularly some that you kind of want to look after a bit more like this i don't shoot that enough uh, and i probably don't shoot the uh, the combat master enough either look at that what a table full of beauties um yeah, so some fantastic guns available out there. I want to get them, just try and get them kind of lined up for you, but I don't think there's going to be room, unless maybe if I do something crazy like that, I maybe have a bit more room. Let's get a couple of these guns out on the table then. So you've got the Taran Tactical there, you've got the, the CZ-75, you've got your lovely Taurus PT-92, your... XDM there, losing the camera. Of course I am, because it's one of my videos, and I always do that. And to top it all off, you've got that beautiful Sig Sauer P226. Some fantastic air guns out there. Umarex makes some real humdingers. Let's let's have it right. Um, Umarex are probably kings uh, currently, and yet some fantastic air guns out there available by all sorts of different companies. Air Venture, Crownland, SIG themselves, KWC, ASG. Have a look around, take a look. Thanks, I hope I kept that nice and short for you. Uh, all the best, take care, stay safe. Bye.